Yes, friends, it's time for brush strokes and bracelets at the in-town gallery. And joining us today is Mary Clore, Mary's closest to me. She's a jewelry artist with Helen Burton and a watercolor artist at the gallery. Meets the opening reception, which is going to occur from 5 to 8 o'clock this Friday. How y'all doing? Great. It's fine. Tell me, tell me about the reception thing that's going to happen first. Well, it's from 5 to 8 on Friday. We always have an opening reception on the first Friday because we feature a different artist each month. Mm -hmm. And we have a special uh, for part of our refreshments is uh, my grandson works for uh, the melting pot mm -hmm. and we're bringing special strawberries dipped in chocolate. Ooh. So you have to come for that. Boy, that, there ought to be a run on the front door and the back door too to get there for that. <laughs> but we um, hung our work yesterday. The front wall is the feature. Yeah. Uh, Mary's jewelry and my paintings are all displayed, ready ready for our guests. Oh, okay, good. Mary, let's talk about your, your stuff first. Okay. Some of it's on the table here, I think. Yeah, I do something a little bit unique. Um, I'll take a jewelry kiln, which is really a high temperature oven, yeah. and I will take glass pieces, and I will create glass that looks a lot like natural jaspers and agates. Ooh. And then I use sterling silver wire and sheet and I create jewelry that I then set the pieces of glass in. Goodness. Now how long does it make one? I guess it depends on how large and, and how complicated you could make it. Yeah, um, I have made 17 pieces for this show and I started right before Christmas and I've worked very, very <laughs> hard through January and February. Well, if it's a hobby, it's taking over, isn't it? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Uh, and we've got a painting of yours that's uh, down there. I don't know whether I didn't get a chance to tell our guys. We want them to see that uh, as well. And uh, okay, they'll get that. Tell me about the painting. Well, it's, it's a watercolor of a rose. I took a picture of the flower in my backyard. Oh. And I entered it in Georgia Watercolor Society in their ex members exhibition. And it won an award called the Da Vinci Award, which was $300 worth of Da Vinci paints. Wow. And it's, uh, I specialize in floral paintings. I also like architecture. So I just, those are really the two areas that I enjoy painting. Yeah. It, it seems to me that the art community or artist, uh, you know, people uh, are getting more and more in Chattanooga, that it's becoming a real artist haven. Right. Yes, it has. I think there are more, easily more than 20 galleries in Chattanooga right now. More than 20? Yes. Recently, we were selected, was it by the New York Times, as Chattanooga being one of the top ten cities to stop for art. Oh, man, that's awesome. Yeah, and um, I think we're going to capitalize on that. I, the community, the art community is pro getting ready to do a big promotion yeah. in April. And, oh, really? Um, yeah. And I guess the spring, in a certain sense, is really the time to do things, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. Yes, well, it's called Hatch. It, it's, a, it's a program that's going to happen in April, and all the galleries are involved. Yeah. And again, we want to tell everybody that uh, tomorrow night from 5 until 8 is the uh, opening reception, right? Yes, it is. And it's located where? On 26A Fraser Avenue, which is on the North Shore. We have Coolidge Park at our back door. And it's invited, uh, inviting all the public to come. Come on, come on. You're going to have a right. ball. And there's going to be two other openings on Fraser, virtually on either side of our facility. So if oh, it's good. a nice night, come down and check out the art. There you go. Be part of the arts, can't you? Thank you very much, ladies. We appreciate it. 